by Hannah Torregoza detained Senator Lila de Lima today urged the Senate to investigate the veracity of a Reuters report detailing the suspicious circumstances behind the bloody police raid in Tonda, Manila in October 2017. Senator Lila de Lima, Manila Bulletin File Photo De Lima said the incident appears to be another summary execution disguised as a legitimate law enforcement. There is an imperative need to ensure that killings are seriously investigated, prosecuted, and punished, especially by ensuring that victims, witnesses, and victims' families are not discouraged from coming forward, said De Lima, in filing Senate Resolution No. 566 in her resolution, De Lima said a Senate probe should be initiated by the appropriate committee to look into Reuters reports showing the arresting officer readily undermining eyewitness testimonies and video evidence during a violent raid that killed three suspected drug offenders. It is also important that an investigation by an independent body is immediately and automatically launched every time there are serious injuries and casualties resulting from law enforcement operations, which body will automatically preserve the evidence including eyewitness testimonies, she added. De Lima said Reuters, in a special report ONT November 27, showed a security camera footage of the raid taken on October 11 in Barangay 19, Tonda, Manila, which resulted in the fatal shooting of three suspected drug offenders, identified as Rolando Campo, Sherwin Bittas, and Ronnie Serbato, by members of the anti-drug unit from Police Station 2. Reuters obtained a footage that shows the police officers, led by Station Commander Santiago Pascual, clearing out the alley as they ordered potential witnesses to desert the area where the bloody operation would eventually take place. The video also showed a victim's body falling off the ground before Pascual turned away the video that recorded the incident. The next scene shows the police officers loading Campo, Bidas, and Serbato into pedicabs to rush them to the hospital. But in its report, Reuters detailed how an eyewitness account sheds further light into the incident. The witness reportedly saw the police detaining the unarmed men in the alley next to her house and asked for an ID of Bittas and after producing one, one of the cops allegedly shouted positive. Positive, and the officers opened fired on Bittas. It's disturbing that the same station commander, as reported, even had the temerity to go so far as defending the act of tampering with surveillance cameras as being done for a valid security reason and to ensure the operation wasn't compromised, which raises more questions about, if not outrightly invalidating, the claimed legitimacy of the operations, de Lima pointed out. It is even more disturbing considering that eyewitnesses and victims' families are being discouraged from coming forward and pressing charges, being told by police officers that it was useless to complain because it's the government you will be fighting against, and that the police are just following orders, she added. As such, the senator said the Senate should urge the Philippine National Police, PNP, to publicly condemn and censure the acts of Santiago of trying to conceal incident of EJK by tampering with evidence.